Okay guys, welcome back and in this lesson we're gonna be talking about Apache and Nginx. How are they different and uh, why are we uh, at all talking about these two pieces of software? Okay, so Apache and uh, Nginx are the two most commonly used open source web servers in the world. Period. Together they serve over a half of traffic on the internet and run uh, on the majority of the most popular websites in the internet. You can see the stats for yourself. While uh, Apache and Jinx uh, share many qualities, they are different in some areas and each excels in its own way and has its own usage scenarios, if I can say so. Perhaps the biggest difference between Apache and Nginx is the actual way they handle connections and traffic and respond uh, to different traffic conditions. You can see that Apache provides uh, a variety of um, multiprocessing modules, MPMs as we know them. Uh, they are prefork, worker and event and we won't go deep into this, but these three modules, they basically are the three types of requests handling algorithms, each suitable for different server needs or load scenarios. NPMs provide a flexible architecture for choosing different connection and request handling algorithms. But the flexibility for which Apache is known for comes at a cost of resource consumption. And we know that in under some scenarios or um, working conditions Apache can eat your server for breakfast. Okay, so what about Nginx? Uh, it basically was designed to use an asynchronous, non-blocking, event-driven connection handling algorithm. It spawns worker processes, each of which can handle thousands of connections. And such connection processing model allows Nginx to scale very fast and wide with limited resources. So you can use it on uh, low power systems or uh, on systems which operate under heavy loads. Okay, so static and dynamic content. Um, Apache handles static content using its conventional file-based methods. It can also process dynamic content within the web server itself without having to rely on any external components. So it can uh, handle your scripts itself. And Nginx uh, can't process dynamic content itself. It passes the content, uh, for example, PHP scripts, uh, to an external processor for execution and waits for the rendered content to be sent back. The next difference is in distributed or centralized configuration. Apache allows additional configuration on a per directory basis and uh, we all know the HDXS files. That is it. This uh, architecture makes it possible to allow non-privileged users to control certain aspects of their website without granting them uh, the permissions to edit the main config. And uh, this is big. Uh, the Nginx, on the other hand, has a bit of a downside, because it doesn't provide any mechanism for per directory configuration. But I should note that this downside pays in increased performance, because by not allowing directory config overrides, Nginx can uh, serve requests faster much, much faster. It doesn't need to search for HTXS files, read them and interpret for that very request made by user. Another area where these two servers differ is how they interpret requests and map them to actual resources on the system. Apache provides the ability to interpret a request as a physical resource on the file system or as a URI location that may need a more abstract evaluation. And uh, Nginx was created to be both a web server and a proxy server. Due to the architecture required for these two roles, it works primarily with URIs, translating to the file system when necessary. Uh, this can be seen in some of the way that Nginx configuration files are constructed and interpreted. Nginx does not provide a mechanism for specifying configuration for a file system directory and instead uh, passes the URI itself. 
This may seem uh, similar, but parsing requests similarly as URIs instead of file system locations allows Nginx to more easily function in both web and proxy server roles. Nginx is uh, configured simply by laying out how to respond to different request patterns. Nginx does not check uh, the file system until it is ready to serve the request, which explains why it does not implement any form of htaccess files. Ok, so to the modules. Uh, both Nginx and Apache are extensible through module systems, but the way uh, that they work differ a lot. Apache's module system allows you to dynamically load or unload modules to satisfy your needs during the course of uh, running the server. The Apache core is always present, while modules can be turned on or off, adding or removing additional functionality and hooking into the main server. And uh, Nginx modules uh, must, on the other hand, be selected and compiled into the core software, and they are not dynamically loadable. Nginx modules are still uh, very useful, though, and uh, they allow you to dictate what you want out from your server by only including the functionality you intend to use. Some users also may consider this more secure as uh, arbitrary components cannot be hooked into the server. But note that Nginx modules allow many of the same capabilities as Apache's models. Ok, so after going over uh, the benefits and limitations of both Apache and Nginx, you may already have an idea of which server is more suitable to your needs. But many administrators find it that it is possible to leverage each server's strengths by using them together. You can place Nginx in front of Apache as a server proxy. This will allow Nginx to handle all requests from clients. This uh, takes advantage of Nginx's fast processing speed and ability to handle large numbers of connections simultaneously. For static content which Nginx uh, excels at, the files will be served quickly and directly to the client. And for dynamic content, uh, on the other hand, for instance PHP files, Nginx will proxy the request to Apache, which can then process the results and return the rendered page. Nginx can then pass uh, that content back to the client. And this uh, module allows you to have a very functional web server and to serve your clients the large volume of uh, users very fast. And in the next lesson we will install Nginx as a standalone web server, but we will address the Nginx and Apache configuration uh, so that they can uh, work together a little bit later.